Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to post a job on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been described by many as a social media platform for professionals, as not only does it connect persons that are looking a job to potential employers, but it also allows employers to get a look in the pool so that they can choose other persons if they would like to replace someone. And I'll be showing you how to quickly create a job post. But before doing that, I want to show you that LinkedIn reach is not slowing down. And by going onto similar web, which is a platform that allows me to see the analytics of any website, you can see that LinkedIn is getting an average over 1.7 billion visitors per month. So this is a lot compared to other social media platforms. And you can see that on average, a persons are staying on it for seven minutes. And majority of the visitors that LinkedIn get tends to come from tier one countries. And by tier one countries, I mean America, United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. So more than likely, you will definitely find a qualified person to fill the job role that you are creating right now or you are posting better yet. The first thing you will need to do is go onto LinkedIn.com. Once on LinkedIn.com, I want you to tap on sign up and you are going to enter your email address and so on. After doing that, you are going to be redirected to this page. And from here, you are going to enter your country slash region. Then you are going to tap on city slash district and you can simply enter your city right here. Let me do that real quick. Then you are going to tap on next. After you have done that, you will see your profile helps you discover new people and opportunities. Most recent job title. And you can tap right there and you can simply enter your job title. After you have done that, you can see employment type. And you can select whether full-time, part-time, self-employed. And then from there, you will tap on most recent company. And you can type in your company name right there. So let me simply type in my company name right here real quick. After you have done that, you are going to tap on continue. Then you are going to see industry and you can choose the industry that you are in. So let me choose my industry real quick. So let me do that real quick right here. Then tap on continue. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. Are you looking for a job? Yes, I'm actively looking for a job. Not really. Or no, I'm not interested in any job opportunity. And since we are creating a job post, we are not looking a job. So we are going to tap on no. Then tap on next. Add your email contacts on LinkedIn. But for now, I will skip that. But you can if you want. But at the moment, I will skip that. So I'm going to tap on skip. Then I'll be redirected to this page and you can see connecting with people lets you see update and keep in touch. For now, I'm going to skip that also. Then from here, you can add a photo if you want. But at the moment, I'm going to skip that. Then you can also add the app and then you will tap on next. After you have done that, you will see follow companies, people, hashtags to stay up to date. And you can follow any one of these companies. So let me just tap on a few. Then tap on finish. And you can see that they are setting up my profile. Just give it a few seconds. Once they have set up my profile as you can see right here. What I want you to do next. You are going to go over to the top right hand corner. Right where you see for business. You are going to tap on that. Then you are going to see the option post a job. You are going to tap on post a job. Once you have tapped on post a job, a new page will open up. And then from here, you will see enter the title of the person that you are hiring for. So let's say, for example, I want to hire someone to create thumbnails. So I'm going to type in designer right here. So I'll tap on graphic designer. Then you'll see my company name and you're going to see workplace type. So whether you would like the person to be on site, 
hybrid or remote and by the way remote would mean that the employer or employee better yet won't have to be on the work site so I'll select remote if you also want to hire someone in a particular location you can enter the location right there and you are also going to select the job type whether it is full-time part-time contract or temporary so for this example I'm going to select part-time before selecting get started for free you have to fill in the employee location then you are going to tap on get started for free after you have done that you will be redirected to a new page and from here you are going to fill out description for the type of person that you would like to employ and you are also going to explain their responsibilities and the qualifications that the, invi the individual would need to have so you can fill out the information right here after filling out the information you are going to scroll down then from here you are going to see the skills that you would like them to have and you can also tap on add skills to add new skills then you are also going to see how did you hear about LinkedIn jobs and you can tap right here to select the source so you can select any one of these options so I'll simply tap on in mail then you are going to tap on next but before tapping on next you can tap on preview to preview how it will look so you can see right here this is how it looks at the moment after that you're going to tap on X if it is to your liking you're going to tap on next once on next from here you will see applicant collection so you will see receive applicants by email then you can enter the email address that you would like to receive it on after doing that you are going to scroll down and you are going to select your screening questions and normally they would recommend that you add three or more questions that the applicants must answer each question so for example the skill that I would like them to have as a thumbnail designer is Adobe Creative Suite and you can see ideal one answer and I'll tap on must have qualifications so that means that they must have the skill on Adobe Creative Suite and also if I would like someone with a bachelor's degree I can simply tap on a must have if I want then you can scroll down and right where you see how many years of work experience if I want a minimum of one year I can leave it at that but let's say I want a minimum of two years then I'll tap on must have qualification right there then you can also add screening questions so let's say for example you want to add a background check you can do that also work experience you can tap on that if you require a language for example if you want someone that's trilingual or so on you can tap on that any special certificates you can tap on that right there you can simply tap on the plus and if you like to add a custom question you can do that also once you're finished you're going to tap on continue and from here you can see you can promote your job post to get three times more qualified applicants if you are willing to pay $30 daily or if you want to do it for free two estimated monthly applicants you can select for free so all you'll need to do is tap on post without promoting if you would like to promote it for free so if for if you'd like to promote your job post for free all you'll need to do is tap on post without promoting but if you want to pay the thirty dollars daily and promote it and you'll see you'll get an estimated 29 monthly applicants you can tap on continue with checkout or if you would like to change the amount that you'll pay daily you can tap on the pencil icon and you could change depending on the budget that you are willing to spend or your company is willing to spend once you are finished you'll tap on continue to check out but for this example I'm going to post without promoting so I'm going to tap on that once I've done that you will be redirected to this page and all you will need to do now is enter your password then you'll tap on sign in and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe